Tadaan. I think it's been a week since I got this um, Suji Chihiro Wave Dripper 155. And I would say it has been one of the hardest drippers to crack. <laughs> when you get a new dripper, sometimes it gets really tricky. Sometimes it's very easy to unlock the potential of the dripper. When I first used this um, during the unboxing, um, the brew that I made was very bitter. It was over extracted and I needed to get the right recipe and the right parameters for this dripper so that I can use it properly. And today I was actually playing with it and I just found the right parameters for this dripper. So I think right now I have four cups here. But this isn't the first time that I played with it. <laughs> These four cups are just for today. I've played with the Suji dripper two more times in the past um, after the unboxing and this is the third time. So today um, I think I might have cracked the right recipe for me to be able to use it properly. Before I reveal the recipe I'm gonna show you first the the test recipes that I made today. So the first one here, the first cup here. And um, I made this with 24 clicks on the Commandante, 93 degrees water, and doing it with three pours with minimal agitation. So it tasted bitter and over extracted, some astringency as well. And so I went I went way coarser. So the second cup here, this is 28 clicks on the Commandante. So I used the same pouring technique, um, same ratio, and same number of pours, three pours, same blooming. And this one turned out to be very thin. Um, it was lacking body and, and there's no, there is no flavor at all. <laughs> it doesn't taste anything much. Um, it's so thin, but it's not sour at all. It's not sour. It may be floral, but, but there is no bitterness. There is no body. It tastes like a diluted coffee, right? So I went down again. The third cup here, this is 26 clicks on the Commandante. Same parameters, but um, I did two pours without agitation. For the 26 clicks, I did 40 ml bloom. And then um, one single pour up to 200 ml. It tasted flat. There was no depth. There was no... Um, the flavor was there. The flavor was there, the acidity is there. It's not very sweet. Um, it's a very plain, very basic tasting coffee. So I went smaller again. So this one, this I think this is the winning recipe. <laughs> this is the last cup that I made today and I am very happy. This is 25 clicks on the Commandante and then I did two pours with agitation so the first pour was aggressive um, it was very low so with your kettle I poured very low and very fast okay so that I, I, I get agitation under the bed okay and then I waited and then I waited only 30 seconds um, and then at 30 seconds, I poured up to 200 ml. So at first, I poured um, solely at the center of the bed until, until the coffee bed created a dome. And when the dome reaches the top of the dripper here, um, I poured in circles so that I bring down all those floating coffee grounds. And then when you get the bubbles, bubbling effect, like the light brown bubbles, 
that's when you release the carbon dioxide, right? When you when you get the light brown bubbles, um, I pour directly to the center, low and fast again. All right? The the resulting brew. Um, it's not amazing, but I think this is the right baseline. Call it a baseline. Call it um, a recipe where you start from, right? So um, it tasted very complex. There is bitterness. There is body. Um, the aftertaste was very sweet. And there is acidity when you first sip it. Let me try again. Yes, um, that's what I'm getting with this brew. So for those who have their own Suji Wave 155 drippers, I would um, recommend this recipe. Um, this is not an absolute recipe for the Suji, but this is um, a good baseline for me, all right? I think this is a good baseline, a good recipe to start from and improve. Maybe you can Maybe you can change the water temperature or change the agitation a little bit. But out of all the test brews that I made, I think I made about, I think I made about more than 10 brews. And I think this is a very good baseline for you to start with, right? So again, the recipe is 13 grams of coffee, grind, um, grind setting is 25 clicks, water is 93 degrees Celsius, pouring technique is 2 pours, bloom 40 ml and then pour the rest after 45 seconds with agitation. I will do another cup just so we have a video of um, just so I have a video to show you how I did the pouring technique for the right agitation. Okay. So I mentioned an agitated like an aggressive bloom we can do 50 and then shake it shake it to make sure that all the coffee is wet right and then we're gonna wait up to 30 seconds okay at 30 seconds we're gonna pour aggressively that we create a dome and then when it reaches the top we do that then concentrate at the center until you reach 200 okay now you want to shake a little bit so that you level the bed Now we're just waiting for the um, water to completely go down and my brewing time earlier was around 1.49, 1.50, below 2 minutes. So this is actually a fast brew. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same total brewing time. It's the same drawdown. So I think... I think it's a very, um, I think it's a very repeatable recipe. So the color of the coffee is a bit cloudy. So I guess um, it gives a lot of body. That's why you, you get a lot of body with this dripper. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So there you have it. This is um, this 
recipe is the baseline for your Suji Chihiro Wave Dripper 155. Right? So this is my own uh, recipe for the Suji Chihiro Wave Dripper 155. Alright? So for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!